Hi, I'm Katie with Vivere Designs by Kate. I'll talk you through this painting today and explain what I'm thinking and why I'm doing as I progress. Please subscribe to see more content. I'll show you the finished painting at the end. The first thing I'm doing is putting down some masking fluid for my moon. And I'm looking at some other paintings I've done that have a similar feel to what I'm thinking I want this one to be. My goal with the sky is a night sky that's super moody with lots of movement. This painting is actually in honor of my dad who passed away three months ago. And today, the day I'm painting this is his birthday. He was a night owl, hence the moody sky. I'm using my air compressor and lots of isopropyl to get movement. You can see where I have that moon masked in so that's not picking up any ink right there. Adding a little more darkness and more isopropyl. Move that sky down more. It's continuing to pump and swirl my compressor to get those super moody clouds. Here you see me go in circles around the moon to mimic the lightness that we see around the moon when we look outside. I really like what I have going here. You'll see where I super screw it up coming up soon when I add in the stars. Some of my goals with this painting was really to incorporate who my dad was as well as a little bit of me and the things that we shared. So you'll see the night sky, you'll see some birch trees and a lake. We were both lovers of the outdoors. He taught me to camp and to sail. He also loved to build and fly remote controlled airplanes and we would go to Oshkosh for the big EAA fly-in every year. We're gonna pause that thought as next you'll see me put the stars in spraying isopropyl. Way too many. So I pour more isopropyl on and start over with that sky. Really hoping I can achieve those same circles around the moon I had before. And there we go, around and around. And I actually love what I got the second time even more. Here I'm using a key card to put some texture in for the water and whatever land might form. I don't really have anything specific in mind except that I know I want some land and some water because I want to put some birch trees in, maybe some evergreens, some forget-me-nots. I have some ideas, but I want to see the ink take me where it will. I decided to use a cream gesso for the birch trees and it didn't turn out quite how I wanted so I did go over it with some acrylic paint later but here you see me using a palette knife to start putting those birch trees in. I did end up getting a lot of bleed through from the inks which kind of surprised me and my goal was really just a cluster of trees in the foreground which you can see as you watch I achieved. This is black alcohol ink I am using to add the accents on the trees. Coming up next, I add in the Minneapolis skyline. That's where I live, and it's about three and a half hours from where my dad was. I am using alcohol ink to paint that in. I know some people like to use a Sharpie, but a Sharpie is going to fade way, way quicker than using actual alcohol ink. It's time to stamp some color into the moon. Put a re little reflection on the water. That's just some acrylic paint that was left on my palette knife and I do go in and darken that a bit more later. I 
I then go ahead and add in a Cessna 172 using alcohol ink. As I said, my dad liked to build RC airplanes and aviation was a love we both shared. I'm adding in a row of pine trees towards the back of the lake. Um, my dad's home had lots of pine and lots of birch trees in the yard. You'll see I pull some of that purple from the sky down into the trees just to give some continuity of color throughout the painting. I do actually add it into the water as well, um, which you'll see in the final picture. There's some grasses. He actually loved the swamp, so I have to have swamp grasses, right? Um, it also adds some interest to your foreground. I am using an alcohol ink marker to do that. It's just easiest to get the wispy. This snippet's in the wrong place. This is actually removing the masking fluid. It's a very satisfying procedure. Um, you want to be sure that your inks are dry before you do that. As I'm adding final details, I decide to put some forget-me-dots in the little grass mound in the front of the painting, and I'm working on that reflection of downtown into the water. Minneapolis sits on the Mississippi River, but my dad's home is also on a lake. I really wanted this painting to have the parallels in both of our lives represented. I decided to add a little warmth to the moon. At the end here, you'll see the final painting. And I thank you for watching. I do ask that if you like my content, you subscribe. I have a whole list of topics I want to cover, not just painting, but supplies and storage as well.